Welcome to the Love Your Marriage Podcast, hosted by Joseph and Crystal Gruber. We are here to awaken authentic Catholic culture through holy matrimony. And that begins with our marriage, and now yours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Direct, O Lord, our actions by thy holy inspiration, and carry them on by thy gracious assistance, that every word and work of ours may begin in thee, and by thee be happily ended. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to the Love Your Marriage podcast. I am Joseph Gruber, here to help you to love your marriage. Here's a good reason to love your marriage. I want you to envision this. This is the moment of your death. This is not your deathbed. This is not you dying. This is not you, uh, whether it's through age or ailment or injury, not you dying. This is the moment of your death. This is you, you, uh, your your spirit and your body separating. And in that moment, at least according to the teachings of the Catholic Church, which I invite you to take as seriously as I do, which is pretty darn seriously, at the moment of our death, we have what is called our particular judgment. Now, Jesus is going to come at the end of time for a general judgment, the final judgment. This final judgment is going to be epic, and it will make sense of everything of all human history, of all of the cosmos, everything will come to light. But before that, we have our own personal judgment at the moment of our death. And in that moment, Jesus comes to us, and it's a fascinating thing. Think about this. The first command, the greatest command, the command that we should take the most seriously is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And there is God before you. He is going to be exhibit A as well as the judge. Because the question is, did you love Jesus? There was a quote on the wall of a friend's house we were staying out uh, recently. And I believe it was from St. Therese of Lisieux, but it could have been a different Therese or Therese or Teresa. It may have been Teresa of Avila. My apologies. But the quote was, we have but one life in which to show our faith. We have but one life in which to show our faith. Anyway, exhibit A is also going to be our judge. The question is, did we love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength? He will be there, and it will be abundantly clear whether or not we were anywhere near configuring our hearts to be like God's, to love as he loves, and to love him as the Trinity loves the persons of the Trinity. But then the next question is going to be from the command that follows, which is to love our neighbor as ourself. Ladies and gentlemen, dear listener, if you are married, God basically allowed you to choose your own prompt here. Think about when you had uh, an essay test, whether in high school or in college, and they had a list of essay questions, and they say, choose one. God gave you the opportunity to choose your challenge because your permanent neighbor, the, the person who is the nearest to you throughout your life from whatever moment was uh, the, the moment of the sacrament of matrimony being effected in you and your spouse, from that moment on, you chose your neighbor. And so the question is going to be, did you love your spouse? Now, there are other neighbors. You, you have other neighbors. You have other people around you who are neighboring you. And they will figure into it as well. But as far as exhibit B, did you love your neighbor? It's going to be one of those, well, he gave you the best possible opportunity. He allowed you to choose your own neighbor. We didn't get to choose the family we were born into. We don't usually get to choose our physical neighbors. We don't usually get to choose all of our coworkers. But we do get to choose our spouse, and our spouse is the most important person to learn how to love because everything else flows from that, Um, loving God, loving our spouse, and then everything else. So on our judgment day, Jesus will be there when we die, and the first question 
will be some variation, presumably, did you love me? And the answer is probably going to be a mixed bag for us. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm hoping for the best for you. But the second question, dear listener, is the one that I'm actively working toward with both this podcast and our marriage ministry, which is that you do get to say that you do love your spouse, that you did spend your life loving your spouse, that you learned how to love them more, that you cared for them with a greater and greater depth of intent and intensity. That's what we're doing as far as our marriage ministry. We, we want you to, to pass, to ace, it's not really a test. We're not Jansenists, right? We're not saying that uh, we're not Pelagian either, uh, but we are talking about the configuration of our heart for heaven. And how will our heart be configured to heaven? If you're married, it's going to be our relationship with God and our relationship with our spouse. That is the education of our heart for heaven. If we're having a miserable time right now in our marriage, that is... Uh, an awesome, awesome time for learning. It might not be the most awesome feeling moment, but that's what it's for. It, it's stretching our hearts. It's configuring our hearts to love the other, even when we don't want to, even if we don't know how to in a given moment. And sometimes the loving thing of the spouse is is uh, not acting. Sometimes it's giving them space. Sometimes it's asking them for space. But it, it's something that has to be navigated because God gave us the chance to choose who our Exhibit B was going to be so that on our judgment day, when we die, our marriage will be at an end. And the question is, did it do its work? Did it do in our hearts the work that it was meant to do, which is to teach us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves? That's one of the great lessons of marriage. That is one of the great things to work on. And when we confuse what we're doing with something else, when we forget that it's about becoming the, the husband or wife, the man or woman that God is calling us to be through our vocation to holy matrimony, then we're going to be more likely to be frustrated or annoyed or uh, uh, upset unnecessarily. But when we realize this is, this is a time to learn how to love, not become a doormat, not uh, be overly emotional to the point of irrational, uh, but true love, a fully integrated human being, heart and mind and soul, everything working for the good of the other because we desire their good. And that, dear listener, is an important lesson to learn before we die. Because after we die, there won't be time. Literally, like that's what happens. Like time becomes a funny thing after we die. It's it's not uh uh it's not like um it's not like there's another way that it works. Uh when we die, time becomes kind of screwy. Anyway, just wanted to leave you with that. If you are a Catholic married man, aka a Catholic husband, I would love a chance to talk with you. I, I've been thinking about this a little bit, that if I heard about this offer, I might wonder, is this actually for me? And if you're hearing this, yes, it is for you. Very few people listen to this podcast. If you're listening to it, there's probably a reason. That is, if you're a Catholic married man. Um, and then this question of, you know, would I, Joseph Gruber, want to sign up for such time with someone that I've just heard or seen on a podcast? Um, I wouldn't want to waste their time. I wouldn't want to have my time wasted. Um, I don't think you would waste my time. I, I think I ask good questions. And because I think I ask good questions, I, I don't think I would be wasting your time either. So 45 minutes. Um it doesn't have to be that long. It could oftentimes go over that. But that would be an opportunity for me to hear how things are going, what you're working on, what resources you've found that have helped you in your marriage to love your, your marriage and to love your spouse better. And then um, 
if, if you're interested in hearing the other things that we have cooking in our outpost marriage ministry, I can share those things as well. Uh, this is not like a sales call. There is no expectation of anything being sold at the end of it. This is a way for me to serve because we are running a marriage ministry. And you, if you're listening to this, odds are decent, though not certain, that you are married. So either you or your spouse, if, if you're a woman, then it would be your spouse, could sign up for the time with me. Anyway, uh, hopefully this you know Monday reminder that you're going to die someday and everything matters because of that, uh, especially your marriage. Hopefully you take that pretty well. Real quick. We are actually working on um, increasing our reach would be one way to put it, but not the way that we want to put it. Growing our audience would be another way to put it, but that's not how we want to put it. We want to we will actually want to find uh, more people and more ways to serve those people. So to find more people to serve and find more ways to serve those people. So if you can share this podcast episode, if you can like it and subscribe and comment and rate and review, all of those things, those things are helpful. One, it lets us know how we're doing, which is good feedback. Uh, But two, it lets other people know that this could be helpful for them. And since we're trying to help people, if we're not, let us know quickly so we can change or, you know, drop everything. Uh, And if it is helping then help us to reach more people. Help us to serve more people. We want to serve all the people who would like us to serve them. I think that's a pretty reasonable goal, is to serve all the people who would like us to serve them. Finding those people, well, we found you. Helping us to find other people, would you do that for us? I would very much appreciate it. Be delighted uh, to talk with you more about it at some point if you're interested Feel free to drop us a line at hello at our outpost.org. It's our email address. Hello, like hi, hello. Hello at our outpost.org. If you have any um, comments or questions as well, that would be fine too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This has been a production of Our Outpost, a ministry to awaken authentic Catholic culture through holy matrimony. Please like, share, subscribe, rate, and review if you found this helpful and encouraging. Find out more at OurOutpost.org.